Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I have a review, demo and swatches of the brand new NARS Endless Orgasm Palette. It is this beautiful palette right here. But before we get started, please consider to subscribe to my channel, ring that little notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. That's the only way YouTube will let you know when I come up with something new and exciting. Also, please follow me on my Instagram. I would love to see you there. And now let's get us started. So yesterday the NARS orgasm so yesterday NARS came out with the endless orgasm palette. And actually, um, just have to tell you this funny story. I call in my Sephora store in the morning and I ask them, do you have it? But anyhow, the day went crazy. I didn't have time to go to my Sephora store. So I asked my husband to please go and pick me up the orgasm palette. Oops. <laughs> I know, that's, um, that's something else right there. So my husband went and picked it up and I was so grateful about it that he was able to get me this beauty. Now I'm just gonna unbox it for you. Yesterday I was playing a little bit uh, with it. I was just, um, you know, checking in like the colors, etc. But it comes in this beautiful package. This outer package, NARS is just killing it with these outer packages. If you see this acrylic part, um, the top part, it kind of like, it's like a dome. I don't know if you're able to see it or not, but there you go. It's kind of like a, a dome and it just have the big letters that says NARS and then orgasm here in the middle. So it has a lot of reflection, light. The color, it's um, kind of like a rose gold, more into the corally color. So this palette costs $49. And let me just read you what it says on the NARS website. This is a limited edition orgasm face palette featuring six multi-use satin cream shades for eyes, cheeks and lips and actually that um that's what i plan to do today actually apply it on my face and on my eyes I, we're just gonna try it everything and all now i'm gonna um be showing you some swatches so here are some swatches of this palette on the top part i do have orgasm ecstasy deep orgasm and super orgasm which is you can barely see it you can oh, sorry is this one right here you can barely see it then on the bottom row you have double orgasm orgasm fever and sorry this is orgasm fever and actually orgasm so these three shades right here they all have a little bit of glitter but it's not chunky glitter it's actually very finely milled almost there nothing that I mean, I didn't, when I was swatching it, I didn't even feel like, oh my gosh, this is just too much for me. Not at all. It was just very, it's not grainy or anything like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and let's start with applying the products. Now, when you apply cream products, you want to go with a brush that is a little bit more dense. I'm going to start with this uh, brush by Sephora. It's the Pro Mini 55 0.5. I actually got this brush when I became a Rouge member. I think I want to start with this shade right here, Orgasm. Let's see how much product this brush will pick up. It's barely picking up anything. Um, it feels a little bit emollient, but again, not oily at all. And just to let you know what I have as my base, I just apply foundation. I didn't set my foundation. I apply concealer. I had set my concealer area only under my eyes and that's it. And then I had applied a cream bronzer on my face and I haven't set no powder at all. And that's what I will suggest when you're wanting to use cream products, do not apply any powder. It will create maybe like a muddy mess or it will just not apply well. It will look kind of funky. So I will suggest go with your foundation, your base, or if you don't wear foundation, just go directly and um, don't, you know, don't use powder before applying the cream products. 
So I'm just grabbing a little bit more of this blush right here. It gives a nice sheen to the face. It's really easy to spread, as you can tell. Now I'm gonna go with this brush. Um, this is from Luxy, and it's a small contouring brush, but it's a little bit um, dense too. I'm gonna use this shade right here, and this shade is called Deep Orgasm. It has a mauve undertone. This um, deep orgasm shade actually really show my cheeks. I mean, I think you can tell right there. Okay, I'm gonna apply it on my other cheek. I usually like to apply um, a little bit of blush on my nose that's just me <laughs> it blends actually really really well now this shade right here um it's called super orgasm although it looks dark in the pan honestly it doesn't go that dark it has like a golden sheen to it which is really pretty you can tell it's really pretty but it will be more like a topper or a very subtle blush I think I would like to put it maybe on the high top of my cheek. So again, I'm gonna go with this um, this shade called no, yeah, super orgasm. I'm gonna go with this shade now, and I'm gonna grab this uh, Wayne Goss number ten brush. You can see that it doesn't have much of a pigmentation now my color my, the color of my skin is between light to medium skin tone okay next I'm gonna go ahead and try this highlighter uh, which is orgasm ecstasy and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this color pop f5 brush and it's again another dense brush <laughs> Now it gives you a very subtle type of highlighting. Um, the highlighter is very subtle. I will say this palette will give you more of a glass skin type of um, makeup. Let me apply the highlighter orgasm ecstasy on my other cheek but with the with my finger. <laughs> you can get a little bit more pay off if you put it with your finger because you can actually control more that of the amount of product so it does show but i will say this is more like a like a very natural glass skin now you can go over top with a powder highlighter uh, because this product will create kind of like a base to it and actually amplify the highlighting effect to it next i'm gonna use this um deep orgasm right here for my lips because that's what it actually says that you can use it for your lips i think those are kind of like my lips but but better because you have like that mauve tone i want to use a little bit of the orgasm shade like right in the middle now let's try this um double orgasm And that create kind of like a lighting effect if you can see right there it looks very pretty the only thing is like for these you will have maybe to use your fingers i mean you can use a brush um, but it will take quite some time to build on the color now let's see how it works on my eyelids okay for the base i want to use the shade orgasm i'm gonna go ahead and use uh, sonia g worker 2 brush and this and dye go go hair so it will pick up nicely um, any cream products. Okay, 
that's that. Now, with the other side of the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this um, shade Orgas Orgasm Fever, and that's the deepest um, shade in the palette. It's kind of like a coppery color, like a bronze color, and I'm gonna apply it on the outer part of my lid. And again, this shade also has the glitter particles. You will look really glittery with this palette um, if you end up using the, the glitter shades. Okay, now I wanna go into this called Double Orgasm. And it's this shade right here. I wanna use that kind of like in the inner, in the, in my inner V of my eyelid. And I'm gonna use this Wayne Goss. It's another anti-goat hair brush in, I think it's Wayne Goss number 18. And you see these type of brushes, they will pick up the product. <laughs> It is very pretty, very natural look actually. And then I'm gonna go with this um, E30 pencil Sigma brush and I'm gonna go to the shade Orgasm Ecstasy which is the highlighter shade here. And I'm just gonna place it on my inner corner. I actually real, it gave me like a, mm. this palette actually gave me a really bronzy, glowy look. I actually really enjoy this palette. I didn't thought I was gonna enjoy it at first when I when I opened it last evening. I was like, mm, it looks kinda weird. I don't know if it's, I'm gonna like it or not, but I actually, I do like it. I do like it a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, Natasha Denona Bloom palette. And I just wanted to compare it on um, this glow cream base, the one that, um, this is the cream base right here. And it's a very beautiful um, kind of coral tone. And I think these, the glow one kind of compares a little to the orgasm shade in this NARS palette. Kind of similar to it. Yeah, it's similar. The orgasm has a little bit more of a pinky tone. This is the one from the Natasha Denona palette right there and this one is the orgasm from the NARS one so it's a little bit more pink the orgasm while well, the Natasha Denona one has a little bit more of a coral undertone but it's kind of similar right there now the Natasha Denona one doesn't have as much pigmentation or base to it as um, the one in the NARS palette let me just take a close look to my eyes to see how well. So this is the thing with the eyes, that this cream formula is not, it will not set on your eyes, meaning like it will just remain creamy. Um, so it will move around if you touch your face. And I don't know if you can see on my eyes, I have these little divots, but the product is settling into my lines so it's creasing a little bit and you can see it's creasing right here so the the cream product is like grabbing and just settling into those lines right here i don't know if you can take a look right there close so honestly i don't think this is the better the best palette to use on your eyes um i mean it looks really pretty i like the look that i was able to get but in like what maybe three to five minutes that I have been here sitting down playing with this palette I could see that the eyeshadows are just that you know the the product on my eyelids are you know are just getting inside my fine lines and just not settling well so I will say this palette although the claim says that you can yes you can use it for your eyes I honestly will not suggest that Although it looks really pretty, don't get me wrong, but I mean, if you're traveling with just one palette and you wanna travel with this palette, then I mean, you have no other choice. It's okay, the only thing is that you will be, you will have to retouch, you know, a little bit and just kind of like pat, pat, pat 
uh, on the eyelid to kind of like smooth out the product, the cream product, because it settles on those lines. Um, are they super obvious? No, but I mean, if I'm looking up close, I will, I will definitely see them. So that's that. Then the rest of the product, it applied so beautiful and so well all on my face. I think the key here is to use the right brush. Like I said, undye go hair, it's the way to go for brushes uh, or a little bit of like a, a very um, dense brush, like something that is a little bit packed. It doesn't have to be a scratchy, just, you know, it just has to be a little bit more of a dense brush so that I can actually grab the product. Um, another thing for the lips, I feel really fine. They will, the product will find on the lips. I mean, again, you may find the same thing as on the eyelids that it may start settling on the lines, on the fine lines. But to me right now, it looks, it looks really nice. I don't, I don't see any like obvious settling that it looks like disgusting you know, like, you know, like, you know, no, it doesn't look like that. It looks pretty to me. And it actually gave me a really nice glow. I think this palette will be really good during summertime. About comparing it with the Natasha Denona, they are two completely different stories. These, they do have a base. They do have um, certain pigmentation and those glitters that are different. The Natasha Denona one, you have this red shade right here, which is beautiful. Um, and then you have some powder products. So this is a completely different concept from this Orgasm palette. Um, if I'm happy with my purchase, I think yes, for, I will mainly use it for the face, not too much for my eyelids. Uh, although I like the look that I was able to achieve today, but overall, I think it's a nice palette. I mean, if you like to use cream products to just give you a really natural glowy look, I think this is a good palette. You know, room for improvement, perhaps um, have done like a bronzer. And this palette to me will work really well between light for light to medium skin tones or medium to a little bit on the darker side. But for um, ladies with you know, for those who have deeper skin tones, this palette, I don't think it will do a lot. I mean, I think this color right here, the mauve color, it will look really beautiful on a deeper skin tone. And this color right here is, uh, this one is super orgasm. It will look like a really beautiful um, uh, highlighter. Um, but I think they could have perhaps come with two different palettes. Um, it would have been a little bit better, but anyhow, those are just, you know, little subtle details here and there. Um, other than that, I'm happy with my purchase. I will say um, it's it's a really nice palette. It's unique. Um, I'm happy that NARS came with something different and new. I know there is an extension of the Orgasm line. I was able to also take a peek today morning at the because I was thinking to maybe include it on this video of the highlighter, the liquid highlighter. And honestly, when I swatch it in the store, that highlighter kind of like disappeared on my skin. It just didn't show much. So I didn't saw the purpose for it. There was also like a lip, um, lip gloss or lip tint. Um, I don't know, it seemed a little bit too pink for my likes. So I decided to skip on it. And also the price, a little bit up high for a lip tint, $26. I was like, eh, I don't know. But anyhow, I hope you really enjoy this video. If you did so, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give a like to this video. That will help me a lot to know whether or not you like to see these type of uh, videos where I need to keep creating them. Also, your comments are super important for me. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, have a wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.